Hey guys, my name is Chase. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a clicking game part 2 of the series. So, if I go into my comment section, I can see that uh people want to know how to create a leaderboard. So, it's very very easy to do this. All you have to do is go into your server script service, open your stats script, and you see this place here. Just rename this to leader stats just like that and copy that and then just paste it in just like that and it is just like that and now you want to go to workspace go on to add click server and replace this with leader stats just like that so it should be all good and you can rename this to leader stats just like that and now it should be already so now if we click play uh, and we look in the top right there you go look so if we just click we're getting clicks just like that and the uh, leaderboard appears so that is the uh, first step done so the second thing people wanted to see uh, is uh, like a UI to show how much clicks you got so basically we can do this so what you want to do is you can go into your starter GUI insert a new screen GUI rename it to let's say click stats just like that and then in there insert a uh, text label just like that and uh, you can size it however you want I'm uh, for video purposes just going to be like very very basic very very basic just like that. Uh, you can put the text, let's say clicks, just like that. Text color, maybe white. Uh, we can make it text scaled. Do the font, just like that. And um, yeah, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert a uh, local script in there. And what you're going to want to say is local players equals to game colon get service players just like that and you say local local player equal to players dot local player just like that so basically this like the first line here says uh we want the game so we're getting the game and we want to get a service and we're going to want to get the player service so basically this is all the players and you want to say local player is uh, players, which is this line, dot local player. So basically, this is the uh, client. In this case, you or your friend or anyone. It's the local player. So now what you want to say is repeat, wait until local player colon find first child leader stats just like that so what this does it will repeat wait until it finds in local player the first child called leader stats just like that so it will repeat wait until it finds it and then you want to say local clicks is equal to local player dot leader leader stats colon wait for child clicks just like that so basically what this does is we're just defining the variable clicks which is uh, in our leader stats it's clicks basically so what you're gonna do is we're gonna create a function now so the uh, function is going to be, so we're gonna say function update just like that and you click enter now you're gonna say script dot parent dot text is going to equal to clicks dot value just like that so basically what this does is um it will layer uh, get the script so in this case this script find the parent which in this case is the text label and then get the text function of that label text property and um set that text to clicks dot value so in this case the players clicks dot value 
So that is the uh, function thing. Now you're going to want to say clicks colon get property changed signal brackets value colon connect and you're going to say update just like that and you're going to want to say update bracket so basically what this does is it uh gets clicks so it gets the um so when each time the value changes it's going to run this line right here and it's going to update it so we can test this out by going uh here got no errors and just like that it's set to zero so if you click one it goes up by one click again it keeps going up just like that so another thing I thought to add, uh, so we can go into the add clicks script which should be in your click GUI. Um, we can add a little cooldown so we can say script dot disabled is equal to true and then this is the important part here, wait and then let's say we want a half a second cooldown. So this is in seconds, this wait command and you can say script dot disabled is equal to false so basically what this does is after it fires this line it moves on to the next line and it disables the script and then it will wait 0 0.5 seconds before enabling the script again so now if we click play and test it out I'm gonna be spamming my clip just like that and as you can see our clicks only go up every time half a second instead of just spam clicking so this is just reduced auto clickers, perhaps, increasing it. So maybe we can set that to maybe 0 0.2, test it out, and see if it's a bit more balanced. Yeah, that's better. I'm actually going to set it to 0 0.15, just like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make like a uh, pop-up on the screen to show when you click how many clicks you get. So we can do this by going into start at GUI, inserting another screen GUI and actually no that's not necessary, we can just go into click stats and we can insert a frame and um, so this frame is where you want it to appear. So you can set the size to 1,0,1,0 0, and then set the uh, anchor point 0 0.5, 0 0.5 just like that and it will cover the entire screen just like that so that will cover the entire screen but if you wanted it in a select area let's say you want it just next to your clicks uh... just like that maybe you wanted it to you just wanted the pop up to appear there then you can do that you can rename this frame to um, plus click just like that you can customize it I'm actually going to turn the uh, background transparency to 1 so you cannot see it and then we are going to want to um, basically insert a script so we're going to insert a local script uh, we're going to rename this to show clicks and now what we're going to do is we're going to want to say click is equal to zero and you're going to say local plr equals game dot players dot local player so this is setting click to zero and so this is the value click to zero and then this is just getting the uh, player so now you're going to say while wait do this is going to put it into a loop just like that so before we carry on with that make a like a uh, like a text anyway so in here basically you can insert a like a text or something and you could size it however you want it does not matter uh, you can say background transparency is one uh, maybe the uh, text scaled is on change the font perhaps just like that and then you can just call it click just like that or something you can scale it make it bigger just like that doesn't matter where you set it now this is the important bit 
you want to insert it into replicated storage. So call this plus click, okay? So you want to call it plus click and move it into replicated storage, just like that. Now in this, you want to insert a local script and say wait, just like that, and you'll say script dot parent colon tween position bracket udim2 dot new bracket script dot parent dot position dot x comma zero comma minus zero point one comma zero and then you want to gonna want to say wait yet again and then you're going to say for i equal from 1 to 20 do script dot parent dot text stroke transparency equal to script dot parent dot text stroke transparency plus 0 0.0, 0 hang on no it's not text that would just be text transparency, just like that. It's actually stroke, sorry. Just like that. Text stroke transparency is text stroke transparency plus 0 0.05. And then you're going to say script dot parent dot text transparency is equal to script dot parent dot text transparency plus 0 0.05 so basically what this does it goes for i is equal from 1 to 22 then you say script dot parent dot text stroke transparency is that plus 0 0.05 so basically you want to say whatever this is you're going to want to get um basically so 1 out of 20 would be 0 0.05 so basically, you want to get this number to 1 by uh, timesing it by 20. So whatever whatever number you want this to be, you've got to change this. Let's say you want to do 1 in 40, then this would be 0 0.025. Because 0 0.025 times 40 is 1. So basically, that's all it is. And if you don't have any like text transparency on your text, then you can just delete this line. But if you do, then you can have it, and um, you must have this line. And these two values must be the same, or it will look weird, because they won't be in sync. So this one could last longer than this one, and it just would appear very weird. And then you're going to want to say, wait again, just to wait. So it doesn't uh, glitch out or anything, just like that. So you can close that now. And uh, so basically, we can now go into here. So you're going to say, if click does not does not equal plr dots leader stats dot clicks dot value, then local random is equal to math dot random one comma one thousand. Now set uh so basically this is saying if the click which is here does not equal to plr dot leader stats dot clicks dot value then local random equals math dot random one to a thousand and so this just picks a random number between that and say so local x new is equal to random divided by a thousand so this is getting uh x new uh, equals just random here divided by a thousand and you can say local new is equal to game dot replicated storage dot plus click and then you want to say colon clone so what this is going to do is it's going to get our text that we put in replicate storage and uh, we're just going it, to so it'll be here and then we're going to clone it so we're going to duplicate it basically and then you're going to say new dot parent is equal to script dot parent dot plus click just like that so basically we get in the clone and we're saying that the parent is going to be the script dot parent 
dot plus click. So the uh, the frame that we made earlier. Then we're going to say new dot position is equal to u dim two dot new bracket x new com comma zero comma one comma zero just like that. So basically, we're setting this position to be random. That is anywhere in the um, plus click frame, but it doesn't go outside. And we're going to say new dot text is equal to speech marks, and you're going to want to leave this here just like that. You're going to want to say dot dot plr dot leader stats dot clicks dot value, and you're going to say minus click just like that dot dot speech marks just like that and you're going to say click is equal to plr dot leader stats dot clicks dot value just like that so basically what this does is it's setting the text to um whatever we're gaining every click and then it's setting click to that so basically that is that so what we can do now is we can test it out and we can check for any errors so if we look now and uh, we just hide the chat did you see that look at that if you look over there above our click every time we click it's going up by one just like that so uh, that's gonna be it for this video uh, I'm gonna make a part three to this as well so this is going to be a series that is correct so if you want to see part three then make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, hopefully you enjoyed and this all works for you. If it does not, well, I have video evidence. It should all work right here. Just make sure to double check everything, spelling mistakes, everything. You've got to do everything correctly. And uh, I shall see you next time. <laughs> Bye.